Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Now, this is between that boy Tesla and Terran OP on Dusk Towers. In the bottom side of the map, we have the red Protoss player. It is that boy Tesla. And in the top side of the map, we have the blue Terran player. It is Terran OP, representing Enphase. Did I mention this is from Team Ascension's professional team? I don't think I did. So it's Team Ascension's professional team going up against Enphase today. And yes, this is a GM level game, semi-pro, and let's get right on into it. Okay, so Dusk Towers, PVT, I feel like we've done this a lot of times, but they're pretty amazing games to come out of this matchup on this map. Everybody loves Dusk Towers. Terran and Protoss love this because of the safe natural right back here that Zerg cannot actually hit unless they go the Drop Lord route. Stick an Overlord right here, turn it into a Drop Lord. Hey, Zerglings, in your natural. I don't see that very often, so I'm not sure if it's very viable. Wait, what's happening here? <gasps> Whoa! Hey, oh, it is a ninja pylon coming up from Dat Boy Tesla. If you don't know who Tesla is, is Nikola Tesla. He was a. Oh, I'm going to mess this up now. I'm going to feel bad, but I think he was. No. No. Eastern European of some kind. I don't know what country he was from. Crap, now I feel bad. Anyway, it's Tesla. He was a huge dude into electricity and physics and all that great stuff back in the time of Edison. Edison was American and he gets all the credit, but man, Tesla was awesome. Tesla made so many good discoveries. Uh, Edison stole a couple of them because he was a giant jerk who electrocuted elephants. And, and um, if you want to know more, just go ahead and Google Nikola Tesla. I assume because you're watching this, you have some information on him already. Just because people in this demographic are more into science and stuff than average. But either way, if you don't know who Nikola Tesla is, go ahead and check him out for sure. Pretty sad story of a very brilliant man. Checking for the expansion. Here is uh, Terran OP. Not Tesla OP. Terran OP says, what the? No expansion. Cybercore just came up. There is a missing pylon somewhere, he says. Missing pylon! Woot, 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 woot. Alert, alert. There is a pylon out there somewhere that I cannot account for. Probe. Running on in. We do have a Reaper pushing out. Oh, crud. Where's my list? Where's my list of Reaper names? Come here, Reaper names. I need you for a minute. Yeah. This Reaper is named... <laughs> Desmond. This is Desmond the Reaper moving in to the Protoss base here. There's an Adept that wants to kill him, but Desmond going to fight back against the Reaper despite all odds and immediately dies. All right, Desmond. Not, not not, a good move there. Oh, and the SCV perfectly scouts out this Stargate that is kind of a proxy Stargate, kind of a ninja, star ninja Stargate. Either way, wonderful scout here by the SCV. Unfortunately, our Reaper Desmond here is no more. We will mourn him later, but man, I've seen more effective Reapers in my day. All right, so SCV trying to knock down this pylon all by his lonesome. An Adept comes in to shoo away the SCV. Say, get out of here. This is my ninja proxy Stargate. Bam! Takes it down. And now, Missile Turret, anything like that? Yes, Missile Turret now on the way. Boop! Under construction. Will the Oracle get there in time? I think the Oracle might get there in time. How many Marines are on the field right now? Two. Two is not enough. Get that turret up. Terran OP, get that thing going. You talk a big game with your name, saying that Terran is overpowered. Protoss players might agree with you on that, but the Missile Turret comes up just in time! Just in time! Whoa! Like, right on time. Three kills. Adept here, trying to get some shots off. Oh, gets killed by the bunker. Unfortunate move there on her part. Oracle trying to find some more stuff to kill here. Almost out of energy. Can it live? No, it gets the SCV right before the energy runs out. That is the unluckiest SCV in this game so far. I guess the one that scouted was kind of unlucky. Was sent out uh, to the field probably knowing it was going to die. But regardless, Oracle decides to head on back home. Oracle 2 heading back home. Is there a threat back here? I'm missing. Uh, Dat Boy Tesla, where you at, man? What? Where's your head? Uh, okay, so throwing down a stasis ward for defensive purposes. I love that very much. And a third nexus on the way for Dat Boy. So pretty quick expansion and qu pretty quick third base there as well. Is Terran OP doing any such third base shenanigans? No. Nope, not working on a third command center anywhere. And the money starting to get a little bit high. Possibly he is saving up for that 400 re uh, investment requirement to go for it. Nope, going for a starport instead. Never mind. Pushing out with a bunch of marines and a widow mine without even any support from a medevac because, again, that starport is not quite here yet. Patrolling back and forth with a phoenix, watching for that drop action, but guess what? Coming from the ground is this Terran force. Going to get up here and actually might stop the construction of this phoenix if they can get some things off here. Oh, the widow mine. The widow mine placement is amazing. Cancel it. There's the cancel. Cancels the phoenix. Boop. Depowers the starp gate. 
and burns it down with these Marines. Marines in this situation are really good. The Phoenix cannot kill them. The Widowmine especially, if it gets a shot off on these uh, Phoenix, will hurt them severely. So that's a lot of lost stuff right now for our Protoss player. Yes, some workers got killed. Three SCVs were killed, but that's 575 resources lost when you count the pylon. When you count the Stargate, that's just a huge investment. They went out the window for that boy. So, holy stasis wards. This is a lot of stasis wards. If you haven't seen these before, they don't come up very much, but they trap enemies in stasis for 21 seconds. Uh, trapped units cannot be attacked or affected by abilities. Here we go. Oh, what a huge stasis. And lifting up the Widowmine and sniping it down before we can burrow. What a play. What a play by that boy. Absolutely impressive. Now these guys are sitting here in stasis. Do they wiggle when they're in stasis? Yeah, they're like struggling to get out. Help us. Help us, we can't move. Um, and then they're going to move, and then Photon Overcharge comes up and doesn't even get a shot off. Though the Marines, though, they're going to... Oh, they kill one Phoenix, and Oracles come clear the rest of them out. Yep. Yep, they do. Good job. This Oracle did take some shots, but six kills to its name. Six kills on this one as well. A lot of dead stuff for our Terran friend. 900 to 825 to this point. APM is over 270 for that boy. And Terran OP, 180 on average still no sign of a third base i do not see one a lot of barracks this is very two base heavy oh i'm a giant liar over here who puts their command center over here huh who does that honestly i gotta check that production tab a little more closely before i go spouting off plus one infantry weapons on the way combat shield being researched and double pumping medivacs as terran players are wont to do that boy on the other hand is working on immortals excellent two forges coming up for those upgrades that are so important two more stasis wards ready to serve in the name of ire and yeah there's that immortal there's a couple gateways always want to get more gateways when you're on three bases just because you have the money to do it dropping on in here we go bam a lot of marines here killing a lot of stuff great pull though fantastic pull on those probes is that a widow mine hit yep widow mine killed one thing over there oracles Trying to be used, killing a few marines on the ground. Oracles used in base defense, pretty darn impressive, I'm going to say. And as soon as they land, just getting absolutely eviscerated by these oracles. What? I've never seen that before. I've never seen oracles used in drop defense, I mean, ever, let alone like this effectively. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to drop in here with the remaining marines. Nah, nah, just some psychological warfare, just forcing the probes to get pulled. They don't know what's in here at all. Is this another drop? Oh, nope, Widow Mine's still here. Eight kills? Did that thing just get eight kills? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, it did. I don't think... Oh, that boy didn't know it was there. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Revelation, can you throw down Revelation at all? Not enough energy for Revelation. Coming back down, this cannon will finish eventually. Yeah, Terran OP is just playing mind games right now. Just basically saying, hey, worry about this. I have a lot of stuff. Not really, though. Not not so much. Single Stalker trying to kill these medevacs. Cannon does manage to kill the eight kill widow mine that is a corporal. Somebody pointed out in the comments of one of my videos. Did Marines come in here and kill stuff too? Yep. Oh, Stasis War catches him and widow mine shot on that Phoenix too. Man, the aggression is nonstop right now from Terran OP. And the Phoenix should be able to kill these medevacs. It's just t time for them to run right now. They're just go absolutely going to die. And they do. Phoenix, one more shot. These Marines are left without a home. They're going to try to fight their way out of this thing, but they're severely outnumbered. Photon Overcharge being used as well, trying to kill as many probes as possible. Coming back to the safety of this Widow Mine that doesn't have any kills. Got a shot off somehow, but zero kills. And, oops, single probe kill. That's not exactly what it wanted. And then it died right before the Observer, or right after the Observer showed up. Another attempt to drop here from Terran OP. Moving on in here into the main base. And ready to drop. What do you have? Widow mine in here again. Couple widow mines. Ready to go. Can't really drop the widow mines here because there is a cannon. Oh, they're focusing it down. Cannon dies. Widow mine. Did it get planted? I think he burned down the widow mine first with the cannon nicely. Nope, just kidding. There's one right here. There is one right there. This is a lot of stalker though. And getting so. Ooh, taking out one medevac. Very nicely done. This medevac is still full of marines though. Trying to sneak on up and sneak on out before anything bad can happen. No cannons here. That looks pretty tempting. If I'm the Terran player. I like how that looks. Yeah, that's a pylon. That's not... That is not a photon cannon at all. And really, all this done... I mean, this has allowed Terran OP to get his third base up and running. Income tab is 53 to 48 in favor of the Protoss. 22 workers killed by Terran OP. So without these drops, just imagine how far ahead the Terran player would be. Is he Okay, so one drop back here. 
Two more coming this way. I think the Phoenix did scout them. I'm not sure if that boy Tesla saw it or not. Another cannon is coming up. A big old drop in the main. Oh, cannon, can it finish? Cannon does finish. Gonna get some shots off here. Some probes definitely dying, though. Widowmine burrows. Cannon dies. Marines are very strong right now. They have stim. They have plus one, plus one. Picking up, boosting out. Widowmine shot again. One kill, zero kills, unfortunately, for that one. And just hanging out. That is a very low on health medevac. It's very scary indeed. Did he... Observer's going to fly right over that missile turret. Unfortunate placement of that missile turret. Widowmines finally getting cleared up there. There are Templar Archives on the way for a Datboy Tesla as well. So still sitting on three bases. No real intent to go for a fourth. Uh, two more medevacs coming from Terran OP. I just feel like... I don't know. Maybe Datboy Tesla just goes for a cloud of Phoenix just to wreck them. Blink Stalkers. You know, very good. There are a good number of Stalkers here. They don't have Blink though, which is a big issue. For the Protoss player as well. Photon Cannon's coming up there. Photon Cannon's coming up there. Will it be in time to be there for this drop? I don't know. Are they going to drop here or possibly at the Natural? And they are. They're going to drop at the Natural. Are these more drops? No, those are just Marines. Okay. All right. So Cannon does get some shots off. Widow Mines burrowing everywhere. Cannon's just... I mean, they provide some defense, but they die so fast as well. Stalkers, if they had Blink, those Medivacs would be dead. Would be so dead, but nope, they don't. They do not. Where's your observer? Do you have an observer? No, you can't just leave these here. Uh, dropping back here too. Taking out yet another cannon. Forcing a full pull of probes. Another drop inside the main base. Cannon trying to do some work here too. Does manage to shoo them away. And this group gets cleaned up as well. Archons morphing on in. And there are kind of observer marines sitting in different spots here. That's a medevac hanging there too. And at this point, the army supply. Let's take a look at that one. 73 to 77. 45 to 56 workers. It looks like Terran OP is ahead just a little bit in both of those categories. But here it is. Plus one, plus one has completed. Archons getting mixed in here too. I love the Archon. The Archon placement. Archons are pretty darn good if you allow them to get close enough to Marines where they can hit them. A lot of Widowmines mixed in here as well. Medivac. Ready to rock on a moment's notice here. More drops on the way for Terran OP. What is going on? This might turn into something of a base race. Here comes Terran OP right over the cannon once again. And once again, the cannon does get focused down. Pushing through, though, is that boy Tesla. Widowmines have all gone off. They're waiting on that cooldown. Going to go ahead and take those out as well. Take out the base. The Marines are uncontested here in the main base. That cannon dies. And the Nexus getting shots. The Cybernetics Core getting shots. Third base completely gone for Terran OP, but... I don't know how much that actually matters. Some Templar are coming in. Do they have Storm? Storm is being researched, but I get a feel like that might be canceled at some point. Where is that Templar archives? Another group of Marines over here. Photon Overcharge is being used to take out that medevac. So that was good, but staying just outside. Archons coming and trying to deal with this thing. The Protoss army, I don't know if they need to come home or what. I don't know. The research for Blink has been halted as the Twilight Council is no longer powered. Marines taking out yet another pylon. We have Archons. We have Zealots. Like I said, the Archons here. Oh, man. A lot of splash damage coming down on top of these Marines. They do take down one Archon. Another one as well. Very low on health, but does manage to retreat. The Protoss army coming back home. Another drop right here with Marines taking out an Assimilator. Forcing a full retreat of probes from that base. Marines with plus one, plus two now. Just attacking whatever comes in range. They're not going to kill anything else, I don't think. Yeah, man, if those Stalkers had Blink, it'd be such a different game right now. Oh, those Medivacs are so low on health, but they're still alive. That's all that really matters here. What is attacking this? Stalker trying to burn down a command center by its lonesome. Oh, Widowmine shot. No! Oh, three kills on that Widowmine. Again, a Phoenix here would be absolutely amazing. Did you lose? Oh, yeah, you did lose your Starport because it was up hereabouts, wasn't it? All right, so the Medivacs can't... I mean... Uh, do you want to risk dropping? Because one more, two more shots on these and they'll com be completely gone. Fourth base is completed for Dat Boy Tesla. Widowmine does get taken out. And yeah, going for the drop. Terran OP says drop, drop, drop. Oh, wait, wait. Does live just barely. Oh! Five hit points on that medevac. Still alive, containing one marine. Don't just fly over this. Why are you doing that, Terran OP? No! I think maybe he put them in a uh, control group with this group and... Liberators everywhere. All right, this is not good. This is not good for that boy Tesla. Trying to take down the Liberators with the Stalkers, with the Archons. Big old storm on the Marines, forcing them back, allowing Datboy to actually focus down these Liberators. Good storms on all of them. Liberators are falling 
Like, there's no tomorrow. Yes, they're getting kills, but I'm not sure how that much of that actually matters. Wow, that boy just walked through that army. I don't think Terran OP was expecting that one. Going to try to sneak in another attack. There are Zealots. There are Templar. There is a Stalker awaiting, though. And that boy says, I got to put some pressure on the Terran army. I have to do this thing. Stalker gets rid of one medevac and a feedback. Kills the other one. Great, great moves there by Dat Boy Tesla. APM 296 on average for Dat Boy 219 for Terran OP. Definitely been increasing as this game has been going on. A storm on one Marine and a Marauder. I mean, yes, it helps you kill them, but wow. Do you have an Observer with this army? Tell me you have an Observer with this army. You do not. You do not have an Observer. Do you have any? No. <gasps> no Observers on the field. What is going on? Oop, Liberator comes out a little bit too early, is forced to retreat. Boop. You got, oh, they did get Blink. Blink did finally finish. I guess during that all that, he um uh, did manage to repower the Twilight Council. Some Liberators here, some Widow Mines here. Storm not quite getting... There we go. Ben does manage to get them. He knows... <laughs> He knows there are Widow Mines up there, he's just not quite sure where, so it's kind of a Blanket Storm situation. Income tab, 42, 39. Both players have lost, what, 75 workers killed by Terran OP. 75, and Protoss is still up, holy cow. What a play so far by Dat Boy Tesla. Archons with plus two, plus two, along with everything else on the ground here. Mortal with 13 kills, 15 kills on that Archon. Six there, five there, absolutely impressive play. Stasis wards are ready to go. Observers in production. Once again, I believe that boy realizing that observers are kind of important when your opponent is going that heavy into <laughs> Widowmind. Why'd you just shoot your own stalker? By ax excuse me, by accident, I would assume. Some idle SCVs up here for Terran OP. Really should transfer them down here. Uh, that's just about mined out. Only a couple mineral patches remaining. Double pumping more and more medevacs. Let's take a look at that resources loss tab. 14,000 lost for Dat Boy and 16,800 lost for Terran OP. So again, pretty darn cost efficient is Protoss thus far. I feel like Storms have been good. I feel like Archons have been good in helping that be the case. Liberators trying to set up shop, find a nice juicy mineral line with which to kill. Amazing reaction time from Dat Boy though. How did he do that? How did he see that this, this probe does not know how close it is to dying? That one either. Look at that. Right on the corner edge. Can't quite get inside this circle the liberators are like come on man and pushing right on through archons in the front doing a lot of work big storms blanketing all of this stuff as well but it's not enough it is not enough force to retreat here meanwhile another drop here at the third base and they get the templar archives adepts do manage to warp in feedback doing some work but the medevac didn't have enough energy to really make it worth it unfortunately for that feedback attempt no cannons down here no army down here either what is going on Dropping a plus two, plus one here. No signs of further upgrades for the Marines, but so far they've been doing their job. I'd have to say, might as well take out another pylon. As they say, hopefully supply block our Protoss player, but no. Zealots do come in and get some shots off. Ah, that was a little bit unnecessary for the Terran player. You got to pick up sooner than that. Long distance mining coming up. There's no, I mean, is there really no way for Dat Boy to deal with this? I, I just, I feel like you have, well, you had Blink Stalkers. I guess they're probably all dead now. How many Blink Stalkers do you have? Zero. Okay, that is a problem. That is an issue, as this base has been completely locked down. Yes, it exists, but there's no mining going on from it, except for this one mineral patch with one probe. It's not even two. Trying to get enough minerals to throw down a fourth base because, I mean, I guess this is not as in bad condition as the naturals for the Terran player. Mules do tend to have that effect. Oh, that effect. One single Phoenix, two Phoenix do take out the medevac. Cannon actually gets the uh, the kill, the kill count there. And yep, Stargate continuing to make Phoenix just to deal with these Liberators. And this is an excellent play by Dat Boy. It's a little bit late, I feel like, but still pretty fantastic in its own right, being able to take these things out. Yes, extra damage versus light. Pretty good split there as well with the Phoenix. And doesn't lose a single Phoenix, takes out both the Liberators, allowing this base to be up. And a functional Marine ball, I mean by ball, I mean four. Four Marines here. Can they actually take down this Nexus? It looks like they can. Give it enough time. And will they take it out? No. The Blink Stalkers trying to get some shots off. There just aren't enough of them is the problem. Phoenix trying to scout around, see what they can see. There are Liberators here with plus one upgrades on that attack. This Nexus is going to complete for our Protoss friend. Double Phoenix on the way here to Stasis Ward. Still sitting here. Hasn't done anything, surprisingly. The Terran army has not done anything to walk into it. Phoenix trying to kill SCVs, trying to kill mules, taking shots from Phoenix in the meantime. I don't know how I feel about that one. 82 workers killed by Terran OP. 82! And 
53 to 54, even on that worker count. Oh, the Marines come in for round number two. Can they get it? They're going to try. They have stim. They have that plus two attack. And the Nexus is going to finish, but its shields are just about gone. The Phoenix come in. They're going to clean out that medevac and something. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, the Marines do get a single Phoenix for us. That was a fair trade, I have to guess. Why? Are, what? Okay. I mean, lifting might have not been the greatest idea. You lost a couple Phoenix there, but it, you did clean up the rest of those Marines, so can't really blame you for it. Double Stargate and a Fleet Beacon on the way for Dot Boy. Getting shield upgrades, which again is good because it helps both your ground army and your air army identically. Making them that much more difficult to kill. Plus three, plus three has finished for Dat Boy. I'm impressed by that. Ghost Academy on the way for Terran OP. We will see some ghosts, likely some EMP, which is very good against Protoss. And taking down shields, infantry weapons, level three. Coming up, ship weapons, level two on the way to Tempest. Being mixed in for Dat Boy. Gotta use Tempest against these Liberators. And are just going for it. Just going for it. Don't mind me. Storm's feedbacks on all the medevacs as well. Phoenix flying around. Do take out one of the Liberators. And they get completely murdered by the Marines and the Widow Mines on the ground. That was bad. Cannon doing some stuff, but a little bit ineffectual. Blink Stalkers come right on in. Get rid of one very quickly. The plus three, plus three is amazing. Archon's kind of stuck in the back. That is not where they want to be. Forced to retreat. That boy running from this battle. Immortal getting some shots off. 20 kills on the Immortal and still alive. Still alive is that Immortal. Some way, somehow. Liberators are dying again. Tempest being used against Medivacs. Getting final shots off. A Marauder here doing work at the same time. Immortal with 23 kills and 53 hit points remaining. This is not looking good for the Terran attack, but still it's done a lot of damage. It's 97 and 98. Total supply. Uh, who's up right now? Technically, that boy Tesla is just a tiny, tiny bit. Another push coming out from Terran OP. Wants to take down this fourth base. Can they get it? It's a lot of Widow Mines. There's a lot of Widow Mines. Are all the Observers dead again? All the Observers are again dead. So desperately trying to kill the Widow Mines before they can burrow. No! Taking out an Adept. No, that was a probe. Getting a probe. Our Immortal with 23 kills is finally destroyed. Unfortunately for him, gonna assume Immortals are dudes. Because they sound like dudes. Good job picking off another one of those medevacs as it flies on down. Long distance mining happening here too by Terran OP. Missile turret coming on up. And is there an... Oh, okay, there's an observer. There's an observer using Tempest to kill them. Not super efficient, but you know what? It gets the job done. Income tab 63 to 54. That boy Tesla's macro has been super impressive throughout this game. Just continuing, uh, continuing to be steady all throughout this match. Another base coming up for that boy Tesla. That helps. I mean, it helps when your economy is better. Resources lost right now. Very even. 26,800 to 27,600. I mean, almost as close as you can get in a game of this magnitude and of this length thus far. Marines with plus three attack. Only plus one infantry armor. I feel like that's a mistake. I feel like the more tanky your Marines and your Marauders are, the better they are, especially against Protoss. But perhaps a Terran player in the comments can prove me wrong. Another drop. This is like the eighth drop in the main base alone. We've seen Temple Archives killed again. For the second time, trying to take down that pylon. Can't quite do it, but the Tempest from long range taking out both of the medevacs. Marines coming on in. The probes running for their lives. Great stutter step on display from Terran OP, though. Just melting through them. This one lives with one single hit point. And is this Nexus fated to fall after all? Where is that army? Where is the army? Yeah, they're overstimming, but they don't care. Stalkers do come in, slowly trying to whittle away the Marines. Can they get the Nexus? They get the Nexus about half a second before the final. Marines would have died. Three hit points, zero kills, but he was part of killing that fifth base that Dat Boy Tesla was going for. Sixth base here for Dat Boy Tesla. Looking very healthy as well. Good thing he has that one. Oversaturated, mind you, he is. Another base down here for Terran OP. Planetary Fortress here. I mean, at this point, it's just too close to call. It's 141 to 120 total supply for Terran OP. The Tempest are very good, though. Tempest very good against Medivacs, against Liberators, continuing to produce those Liberators. Here is Terran OP. He has the Fusion Core. Does he have the upgrade? Uh, advanced Ballistics? Nope. No, he does not. Increases the Liberator uh, Defender Mode range by four. So it doesn't have that one yet. I think it would be useful. Uh, looks like he has enough money to pull it off, but perhaps he has other things in mind. He is getting plus two infantry armor, so perhaps, or perhaps he heard me talking. Another drop! Another drop by Terran OP. Is he going to get another Nexus kill? He is. He's going to get another Nexus kill. Trying to push on up here. There are mm, the Zealots. 
getting shots off. Is that boy just letting that go? I think he is. The Liberator is getting destroyed from long distance. The Nexus explodes. Nicely done once again by Terran OP here. And now that boy Tesla has a situation. He's going to go ahead and try to defend here with a Templar alone. I'm not sure if it's actually going to be enough. A scan. Oop. That would mine did get a shot off somehow, some way. Planetary Fortress being destroyed from long range. No. That boy Tesla has other places to go here. Storm. Oh, storm inside your own mineral line. Just feels bad. Zealots finally clean up all of the Marines there. The medevac is forced to go home empty-handed. Zealots again here absorbing a lot of hits. Doing some work too, but it's just not enough. On their own, Liberator, ooh, we're extending just a little bit. The Tempest, really want to get some shots off. Couldn't quite pull it off. Are you getting upgrades for these things? No, nothing at all happening for that boy Tesla. Now, throwing up a replacement Nexus, getting more and more Zealots. Uh, I guess doesn't really have a lot of money either. Both these players spending their money exceptionally well. Just they're attacking enough, losing enough, that they're not really getting giant banks either. So, just a good combination to just show a really, really good use of macro between these two players. Another Supply Depot, and by another Supply Depot, I mean that's probably the first one to die at this point. Stalkers, again, with plus three, plus three, one for Plasma Shields. Stalker comes on in. It does have enough range to take down that missile turret without incurring the wrath of the Planetary Fortress, which, hey, might as well do it. And checking for a base up here, nothing to worry about. Pushing on through here, the Tempest, again, from super long range. Not even bothering to take down that missile turret. Might as well. I mean, yeah, here we go. Getting some shots down. Zealots here as well. That's a very quick death on a planetary fortress. Another drop down here, though. Completely cleaning this up. That is so many dead probes right now. So many dead probes. Liberator tries to come in. Luckily, the Tempest was not paying attention to it. Another one dies. Another Nexus falls. That has to be the third Nexus to fall in this game thus far. Some zealots trying to clean these guys out. Feedback does take down a medevac, so that's great. The stutter stepping, amazing charge though on the zealots, helping to mitigate that one. Widowmine shots! Oh, Widowmines! Oh, 130 workers killed by Terran OP. Six kills, eight kills. Yeah, Stalker making sure a base doesn't come up here, but that's pretty much the only job available. And eventually an observer shows up. The Widowmines do get cleared out. Are they just using splash? They use splash damage. Okay. All right, so the Archon attacks the Stalker that's standing on top of the Widowmine to splash damage to kill it. These Marines, are they going to take down a Templar Archives for the third time? They're going to try to do it. They're going to ring around the Rosie this thing with the Zealots. I don't think it's going to happen. They're too low on HP. The Zealots do have charge. And yeah, that was an admirable effort there by your Marines, but nope. Another drop down here at the fourth base. Oh, the Probe Massacre has been insane. 28 probes left for that boy Tesla. Not looking good. Not looking good. Landing another... Uh, another a replacement orbital command here at the fourth base. Woo! Anytime you see Tempest being used against Marines, it's not a great feeling just because they're not super effective. No, they get the forge though right before they die. This has been a game of Marines just barely, barely killing stuff before they get wiped out themselves. They've been commandos. Sensor tower, uh, kind of under construction. The SCV building it had something better to do or was killed. Likely was killed. Templar, one kill, zero kill, three kills on that Archon. Coming through are the Liberators, but oh, taking shots here. Zealots on the ground at the same time. Can the Liberators on the front are just getting obliterated by the Stalkers, by the Archons. Liberators trying to turn around and do stuff, but no, not enough. Not enough. Vikings a much better choice against the Liberators, and they die as well. The range on these things is insane. Range of 15. That is one of the longest ranges for anything in the game. Are all your observers gone again? Yes, yes. All of his observers are yet gone again. Unfortunately, that was a full medevac. That died right there. That was a huge, huge get. Widowmine shot on a Tempest. Not exactly the most efficient use of that Widowmine shot, but still not bad. Sneaking through here. Always scary to go through that choke, but it works out for that boy. Coming in from a different angle. Those full medevacs are maybe a bit of a problem right now. But no, just abandoning it. Terran OP decides to go home. He thinks he can win a base race. And I don't know if I can necessarily blame him. Trying to drag these units across these Widow Mines. And do get some shots off. Killing an Archon. Actually killing an Archon there. The Tempest do decide to go home. A Medivac is killed there. Archons meeting this group as well. Getting another shot off. The Blink Stalkers. And yes, two. Feedback being used there as well. These Medivacs, these flying Medivacs. Unload your stuff. 
No, load your stuff. Oh, he shouldn't have listened to me. He should not have listened to me. He's still alive. He is still alive. Can he take down this Templar Archives? He's thinking about it. Gonna come down here. A good warping of Stalkers. Can they snipe down that medevac first? Oh, feedback is used. Stalkers used. Everything on the ground here does die. Archon might be destroyed before it actually... Yep, before it actually is created. Widowmine here with one total kill. Tempest from a distance. Trying to get rid of these medevacs that have been plaguing him for so long throughout this game. And... I mean, I guess the second forge might as well kill that. I'm not sure how much that boy Tesla is planning on doing any more upgrades, but it's going to be difficult at this point. Structures shows he has no more forges remaining. So that's not that great. Finally, that boy finishes it up. His army supply looking good. I just, you need observers. You have one. You have an observer. Where is it? Here it is. Here comes the observer. A little bit too late, but finally the widow mines do get cleared out here. Resources lost, 44 to 37,000. Protoss winning this battle. I mean, yes, a lot of dead stuff to this point. 134 workers killed. A big time widow mine shots as well. Where is your observer? I don't know where the observer is. Great blanket storms all over that bile. The Vikings trying to take down this Tempest force, but it's not enough. The Archons on the ground and the Stalkers lending a lot of work to it. A lot of work to that kill. All the widow mines are destroyed. A lot of storms used to do it through. I'm not sure that was the most efficient use of that ability. Marine, Marauder coming through, storming your own mineral line. Once again, feedback's on the medevac, not quite able to kill it here. The army for Dat Boy says, all right, enough is enough. Comes right on in and then backs out. Where are you going? These guys are still alive. Still alive. Templar does not have enough energy to do anything at this point. This is so many dead probes, you guys. So many dead probes. Dat Boy Tesla decides finally to go for this planetary fortress. I mean, I, I guess I don't know why you wouldn't, I suppose. Widowmines try to come through. Bad rally there. They get completely obliterated. Zealots do manage to defend. A feedback. Feedback, but not enough energy to actually kill it. You don't... Hmm. So feedback only works if the thing you're feedbacking has a lot of energy stored up. Those medevac did not, obviously. So feedback did literally nothing on that final hit. There's no energy to go with. All right, here it is. Archons need to be attacking somewhere. No, they need to actually not evaporate immediately. And they do. Tempest against this many Marines is not a good idea. Tempest back on out. Back on out here. Stimming forward actually helps a little bit. For that boy Tesla, it's just Tempest now. The Tempest need to run. Tempest do find a dead spot in the area where the Marines cannot kill them. They decide to get rid of a missile turret that did get some shots off. Going after the SCVs here too. Trying to even up that worker lost count. Whew, 44 to 148 though. That, man, Terran. Terran OP looking very, very good. Mules are getting destroyed. A single stalker going to town on this mineral line with hold position, but plus three attacks, 13 damage per shot versus these SCVs. Another push with Terran OP. Is Storm available? Is feedback available? Good Storm on the biological unit. Zealots with Storm going to come in and clean this thing up. Not very much energy left on these guys. Oh, using an EMP on the Zealots. I'm not sure, again, that was the correct choice. Perhaps targeting the Archon would have been a better one, but that's A-OK. -okay. Tempest getting shot at. Not enough to actually kill it, but still that was a lot of shots from the Missile Turret. They just have a lot of HP, is what they have right now. Getting rid of the Ghost Academy seems like a fairly solid maneuver for Dat Boy. Some idle probes here could be transferred, I guess, up here to get some more gas. Income at this point looking pretty heavily favored towards the Terran player. Is this Stalker still going to town? Oh, the Stalker's getting killed by SCVs. Live, Stalker, live. That plus three armor has to do you some good, right? Is he going to win this thing? One, two, three. Oh, using the blink. Uses the blink. Hacks. 16 kills on this Stalker, though. Tempest are just killing stuff. I don't know if it's even necessarily important to the game, but still, killing things is always nice. 16 kills. On that one stalker, this base was decimated by that stalker attack. Another stim forward here, and they're going to kill another Nexus, aren't they? They're going to kill all the probes first, mind you. The probes are the more important target, but then might as well get the Nexus as long as we're here, is what this Terran Bioball says. Zealots cannot save it. Nope, nothing can save it. And Terran OP manages to get away fairly scot-free. Tempest killing Marines, killing production facilities. Always a good idea. To kill production facilities is what I say. The Marines that are coming out are trying to get together in a group, but that's not going very well at this point. The Tempest kind of have Terran OP into lockdown right now. I mean, the fusion I'm not sure the Fusion Core is a target. The Marines need to run. 
run marines. Oh, Vikings and a bunch of more marines show up. What? Surprise! Surprise! A ton of other stuff killing you. Medivacs assisting with that effort as well. The Vikings need to die. They're a huge problem. And over here! Whoa! Terran OP smart! Smart maneuver. Setting up units in all different places. To take these out. And loot. No, the Observer dies. The Observer went back in for another round of shots from the missile turret and did end up getting killed there. Single assimilator, not assimilator, that's a refinery. Getting shot at, FCB desperately trying to repair it, but no. Not enough. It is definitely not enough at that point. Marines, plus three, plus two, which is a weird upgrade pattern, but that's A-OK. -okay. Engineering base still here, mind you. Still could do this thing. Fairly mineral starved, though, as our Terran player. Not sure why getting the fusion core is such a big deal. I mean, I guess it does get rid of the ability to do uh, advanced ballistics. Are you worried about battle cruisers? Is that what you're thinking here? Killing the starport itself seems like a better idea. Uh, coming on through, going to go ahead and try to storm this mineral line. Not a terrible choice. I would say maybe this one, too, as there's not a planetary fortress here. Yep, there's the storm attack. It does kill every single one except for two in the space pushing forward a storm does do some stuff archon desperately trying to get created here but no these marines are so strong another nexus falls Ugh. nexus nexus death seems to be the uh the theme of this game nexus death and tempest they did take out the planetary fortress they're working on taking out that stargate something was attacking here i don't know what it is terran op decides to retreat and i think that boy might just let him go careful Careful Archon. Just, I'm not sure if that's enough Zealots is the problem. Feedback on the Ghost. Alright, that's okay. Another big storm. A little bit overstimming there from Terran OP. Those are very low and they do get picked up and boosted out of there. The Tempest still going to town on these bases. I think, again, the Starport would be a better choice, but that's A-OK. -okay. A little bit of mining going on here. Tiny bit of mining going on here. Protoss player is down to 23 Harvesters, but his opponent has 15. Right now, 67 workers killed, 163. Terran OP looking good. And, all right, so army supply right now, 74 to 58 in favor of Dat Boy Tesla. More medevacs coming up. A warp prism on the way for the first time in the game. I'm not sure if we've seen one of those before. The Archon really wants to kill these units. The Zealots, too, but the stutter step is good. It is really, really good. Archon's forced to retreat. He really wants to kill that medevac, but can't do it. A warping of a single Zealot is... Oh, the storm! The Clutch Storm from the High Templar cleans out the rest of that bio. The medevacs are forced to retreat with no hit points remaining. And by zero, I mean 14 and 7. It's mean one shot from just about anything will kill it. Tempest, get the starport. Get the starport. Oh, here comes a big army, though. Look out! Look out! Oh, no! The Tempest, this might be their final day. Vikings doing Stutter Step Micro 2. And yes, every Tempest gets cleaned out right there. That was a great move by Terran OP. Just waiting just waiting for that boy Tesla to walk into that one. What a move. What a move indeed from Terran OP. Zealots, Templar running around desperately trying to do something. Trying to defend against these attacks. You notice these little groups of defenders now that are here? That's because Terran OP has been so consistent with this harassment throughout the entire game. If I'd lost 160 workers, I'd be playing a lot of defense too. Alright, so what do we have left at this point? There's an Archon. A Warp Prism, 12 High Templar for that boy, that's a lot, and 16 Zealots versus 1 Ghost, 27 Marines, 2 Vikings, and 4 Widow Mines, which are actually based all over the place here. One sitting right there, that's funny. Has a single kill, probably won't kill anything else throughout the entire game. Terran OP setting up a bit of a spread. Just trying to make sure if the uh, Protoss player does attack, he knows about it and has something at least to try and slow it down. Single Medivac coming through. Again, I just think scouting... Oh, they just missed the warp prism, though. Just missed the warp prism. And another attack down here. Surprise! Oh, storming his own stuff a little bit. Bit of a whiff there. Oh, and that storm, but the medevac does get taken down with the feedback. Marines getting hacked across the face there. A good attempt at a drop, but once again, that boy Tesla seems ready for that kind of thing. Seems very ready indeed. Gonna drop. Going to drop here. Templar, Templar, and... Storm, storm? No? Is it not worth your storm? <laughs> no, gonna warp in Zealots instead. How interesting. Alright, so gonna use Zealots to take out all these SCVs. A lot of them which are very injured already. And yeah, they kill a couple mules. They kill a couple SCVs. The Marines themselves, not quite enough to do this, I don't think. Again, good micro on display, but 
Even one hack from these Zealots is really very damaging. Oh no, can't even kill a single one of them. The Zealots need to kill these things. There we go. Good micro, moving them back around, forcing a full evacuation of SCDs at this location. They cannot attack Zealots. The Zealots move their attention to the Orbital Command. And this group of SCVs comes in to die. Good st ooh, dropping storms, but the Templars die in the process. The Zealots do get cleaned up. These SCVs continue to mine. I think this is all that the Terran player has right now. Income definitely favoring that boy Tesla. Both on the minerals and the gas income levels. 33 harvesters to 10 in favor of that boy. And double pumping liberators. Okay, single pumping liberators. Interesting. Still working on that liberator production. Tempest, rebuilding the Tempest fleet as that boy has two, has two more on the way, getting another warp prism. Did he lose the one over here? Must have. Must have. I do not see it in the units tab right now. All right, so it's 124 to 76 total supply in favor of that boy Tesla. It has been an crazy, crazy, crazy game of attrition. Both players have lost so much stuff and continuing to drop is Terran OP. Walking through storms is not recommended. Feedback, getting rid of that medevac. <laughs> and Tempest, or Templar, man, really good stuff here. Focusing down that Templar, first of all, Zealot trying to kill these Marines, but difficult to do, again, with the stutter step. These three Marines, unfortunately cannons, unfortunately cannons taking two of them out. That one is still alive. A Templar does get a feedback down on a Ghost, not enough to kill it, and does get a Storm off before he is destroyed, too. Man, Ghosts look so cool, don't they? like they're backlit and there's like a lens flare and stuff is this dude still oh nope nope single zealot gets rid of him easy breezy another a warping of what so two zealot two templar seems to be the strategy of choice right now for dat boy time to land it no land the zealots first never mind doesn't matter the zealots do get it they move right into this mineral line this might be all she wrote for terran op if he can't mine from this i don't know where he's gonna get any more money two more dead scvs uh, 84 workers killed to 170. Absolutely insane to this point. An army does show up, though, in time. You gotta run. You gotta run. Trying to do this. Nope, not gonna happen. Picks him up from range and runs, but I think the... Oh, everything dies. Everything dies for the Protoss player, and somehow Terran OP keeps this working. Keeps it alive. His All of his SCVs are down here, and his mules. It is 30 to 20 total harvesters. Mules, pretty darn good stuff. Was there an attack up here? I feel like there might have been an attack up here. Yet another Nexus on the way for Dat Boy Tesla, which I feel like is about the 15th Nexus he's had to make throughout this game. He did replace this one a couple times, replace this one a couple times. This one was lost. That one finally on the way. And Dat Boy just keeps sending little raiding parties up the middle with Zealots. And it seems to be working to some extent. As does it... No, it can't kill the ghost. It can't kill the ghost. Does he have extra armor? Nope, still no plus three armor here at all. Tempest. Tempest harass on your mineral line. When that's happening, you know something's gone wrong. Liberator setting up shop with zero kills. And a, using Storm to kill a Liberator seems a little inefficient. But um, that's okay. That is okay. Stor I mean, Storms will get there. Storms will get you there. Just takes about four of them. Stopping all mining at this base with the Tempest. And knocking down these rocks with the Marines. I thought they were shooting up their own medevacs there for a second. But no. 111 to 69 total supply. It is 28 to 19 total harvesters. Another attempted something here, but no, there's a zealot waiting. Forced to retreat again. Are these SCVs Marines coming in to try to save them? They do. They do. They do manage to pull it off. Units tab, 17 Marines, 5 Ghosts, 3 Vikings for 18 Zealots, 2 Archons, and 5 Tempest. Another raiding party of Zealots coming up through here. The ghost finally does die. Oh, the Observer gets killed. Oh, unfortunately for the Observer. Big old Storm trying to kill Vikings with Storm. <laughs> Once again, you can. It's just not highly recommended. Another warping of Zealots on this base. All right, I think that boy has this thing. Again, I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like that boy is ready to rock this thing. If all these SCVs die, that might be all she wrote for the Terran player. These Zealots are out for blood. Out for blood. Not a fast enough pull from Terran OP at all. APM for these players, insane. 293 on average for that boy. 235 on average for Terran OP. The Zealots do get cleaned up, but not before killing a lot of stuff. 31 to 9 total harvesters. 98 workers killed by that boy. If you can get two more SCVs, it'll be at 100. Yet another dead Tempest, possibly. 
Possibly. Oh, who's going to win this? Viking versus Tempest. Oh, Viking wins. Viking wins. Tempest harassing this mineral. <laughs> That's it. Was that it? Yes. 104 workers killed by that boy Tesla. 172 and 104. Both players absolutely just destroying the economy of the other one, but somehow still alive, both here at the 44 minute mark. Marines killing more of their Tempest. But no, they can't reach. They can't reach that far. Ghost trying to get shots off there too. I believe an EMP was thrown down. Yeah, all these guys are missing their shields. All of them. Look how impassive they are. Mm, we are Protoss warriors. Tempest need to be focusing down that Viking. Getting revenge on it at the very least. Another Zealot excursion right up the middle of the map. Right up the middle. Gonna kill a supply depot. Do nothing. Gonna kill a refinery that's not being used at all and will probably never be used again. No, they bypass it. Smart. Smart move. Moving into the main seems to be the way to go. Can they block it off? No, they don't get the block. And the Zealots run right into the main base. Start going after add-ons. Great choice here. Mining from these minor mineral patches. <laughs> Pushing on in with Marines and Marauders. Archon. Storm. Zealots, get in there. Zealots, participate. Oh, is that an EMP? Yep, EMP tossed on down. But that's a lot of Zealots. It's a lot of Zealots, and Terran OP decides to back on out. And that's a double supply depot that is being killed, and that's it. That's it, the Rage Quit! The Rage Quit from Terran OP. Terran OP is defeated. That boy, Tesla, is victorious. Wow, what a proud day for Team Ascension's professional team. Just, that is one of the more just knock down, drag him out, knuckles to the face in an alleyway games I have ever cast. Again, Resources lost 60,000 for the Protoss to 73,000 for Terran OP. Units lost 461 to 794. Again, Protoss more efficient, but barely squeaked that one out. Barely squeaked it out. Used, I mean, I don't want to say he used every weapon in his arsenal. No disruptors were used. What else was not made? No void rays were used either, but man, so many different things for the Protoss player. Archons and Zealots and Adepts and Templar especially. Templar played a huge part in these battles. Stalkers, Phoenix, Oracles, everything under the sun. The Terran player as well, using Liberators to great effect in the early part of the game. That boy managed to deal with those fairly efficiently, just again, by not being afraid of them. I know I've said this before, but man, if you just march through Liberators, take the hits you're going to get, focus them down with Stalkers, with Blink Stalkers, especially with these Tempest. I think you'll be okay in the long run, so... Wow, congratulations again to that boy Tesla. Hard fought game, and that's got to feel good to win that one. So that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between... Uh, <laughs> let's try that again. Woo, this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.